السلام علیکم ایوری بڈی ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ریپڈ ریویژن ٹوڈیز ویڈیو از پارٹنرشپس کوشچن اینڈ دا انٹرسٹنگ تھنگ اباؤٹ دس کوشچن از دیر اٹس اے پارٹنرشپ اینڈ اے سروس بزنس آلسو دس بیسکلی اپیئرڈ ان می جون ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹوینٹی فور دس واز پیپر ٹو ویئر ان ٹو اینڈ دس واز کوشچن نمبر فور دا کوشچن یور سیز تدین اینڈ یدید آر لوئرز ہو ہیو بین ان پارٹنرشپ فار مینی ایئرس دا پارٹنرس پرووائڈیڈ دا فالوئنگ ٹرائل بیلنس ایٹ تھرٹیتھ اپریل ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹوینٹی فور دیو گیون یو ریونیو دیو گیون یو سیلریز دیو گیون یو رینٹ اینڈ ریٹس دا انٹرسٹنگ تھنگ اباؤٹ سروس بزنس از دیٹ وین یو آر پریپیئرنگ این انکم اسٹیٹمنٹ فار سروس بزنس یو ول ناٹ ہیو اے کاسٹ آف سیلس سیکشن ان دا سروس بزنس بیکاز ان سروسز دیر از there is no inventory so when you are giving a service you get the money against the service that you are giving not um, there is no there is no goods that are being sold in that case so there will be no cost of sales section uh, the there will be just revenue and then you know if you have other incomes you add it but in this case you don't have other incomes and then you subtract all the other expenses the um, okay we have so many expenses here we have rent and rates sorry we have rates and insurance we have advertising we have office expenses uh, we have interest on loan from tadeen we have premises at cost fixtures and fittings at cost provision for depreciation receivables receivables is just like uh, some people might have taken our services and uh, those people are going to pay us in future so that is our receivables uh, cash at bank cash in hand loan from tadeen Uh, Tadeen is a partner also given also he has given a loan to the business uh, capital accounts Tadeen Yadid current accounts Tadeen and Yadid uh, current account balances and then we have drawings balances then they are saying here additional information rent rates and insurance include an amount of 1920 for the year uh, 1st March 2024 to 28th February 2025 Now I am preparing my income statement on 30th April 2024 which means that this payment that I have made this is uh, the payment um, this uh, the there is an extra 10 months payment because March and April fall in my current year and the rest of all the months the other 10 months uh, uh, fall in the next year that is from uh, 1st March uh, no that's from 1st May 2024 to um, to 30th april 2025 that is the year for uh, for which this payment relates so two months uh, relates to the current year two months uh, two months payment relate to current year so two months is for our current year and 10 months is for the next year so 10 divided by 12 multiplied by 1920 march and april is falling in the current year uh, the rest of it is for the next year uh, the next financial year which starts in on 1st may 2000 24 and ends on 30th April 2025. So when I calculate this, so I'll simply do 10 divided by 12 because 10 months is the extra payment and the total months in a year is 12 months. So 10 divided by 12 multiplied by 1920 will give me 1600. 1600 is my prepaid in this case. So what I have to do here is that 1600 I need to subtract from rates and insurance. So I'll subtract 1600 and I'll write that amount in my income statement. Then they are saying at 30th April 2024, 1800 for salaries was due but unpaid means there is this is uh, this is an owing of salaries which means I have taken the service but I haven't paid this amount of salaries that is 1800. So I'll simply add 1800 here and. Uh, the thing about unpaid and due is that when you take a service and you don't pay so that means you need to include that in this year's uh, income statement because we have taken the service so income statement is based on accruals concept and the accruals concept says that uh, in expenses are recorded when the service is used um, then they are saying irrecoverable receivables of 670 are to be written off this is just like irrecoverable debts but there are certain people who have taken our services but they are not going to pay us now so we call that irrecoverable receivables then depreciations on depreciation on fittings and equipment is to be charged at 15% per annum using straight line method uh, which is quite easy you guys know the formula uh 70000 is my cost of uh, fittings and equipment and i multiply this by 15% so i get my current year's depreciation which is 10500 in this case 
Then they are saying the partnership agreement provides for the following interest on partner's loan 6% per annum. So what is the loan that we have received from Tadeen? The loan that Tadeen has given us to given the partnership is 20,000. And when we multiply this by 6%, so you will get 1,200. 1,200 is my uh interest on loan and i need to see okay i have paid exactly 1200 as well so there is no owing uh in interest uh we have paid exactly what was uh what we were supposed to pay then interest on drawings interest on capital a salary to yadid of 10,000 per annum and residual profits and losses are to be shared 60 percent to tadeen and 40 percent to yadid so this is uh the profit shares that we will uh, we will basically deal with all of this in the appropriation account. So we don't need it for the income statement. We need it for the appropriation account. So I will simply prepare my income statement now. Revenue is going to be in this case uh, directly. We will just copy the value 236,350. So I will write it in my second column 236,350. Then I don't have any other income. So I will just go on to uh, other expenses. So salaries in this case, I need to add um 1800 so 79800 plus 1800 79800 plus 1800 will give me 81600 for rates and insurance we subtracted 1600 from 17320 so 17320 minus 1600 will give me 15720 for advertising, there is no adjustment on advertising, so simply copy the value 16,730. Then we have office expenses, no adjustment on office expenses 6150. I will simply write here 6150. Irrecoverable receivables, we have 670, so I will simply write here 670 as my irrecoverable receivables. Then depreciation on fittings and equipment. I calculated my depreciation on fittings and equipment, which was 10,500. So I'll simply write here 10,500. Uh, then what I need to calculate is that I will calculate the total expenses here. So the total expenses here will be 131,370. So 131,370, which I will subtract from my revenue. When I subtract this from my revenue, I will get 104,980. This is my profit from operations. Now I need to subtract interest expense. So interest expense in this case is 1200. So I'll simply subtract 1200 from this and what I will get will be my profit for the year which is 103,780. This is my profit for the year. Then I need to make my uh, appropriation account. So I will start with profit for the year and you guys need to know the format of appropriation account which is very important. Also I need to mention something that I, I have uh, written a formats ebook which uh, uh, which is for free so you can sign up on the link below uh, to receive your free e-copy of uh, the formats ebook. Uh, then we need to add interest on drawings. So interest on drawings in this case is 5% of each of the drawings of Tadeen and Yadid. So the drawings of Tadeen is 34,300. So I'll write here 5% into 34,300, which will give me a value of 1715. And then for Yadid, the interest, uh, interest in drawings, the drawings amount is 46,500. And I will multiply this by 5%. So 5% multiplied by 46,500 will give me 2325. This is my interest on drawings. And interest on drawings in this case, the total will the total of both will be 4040, which is my total. I always add interest on drawings because interest on drawings is a, a charge to the partners because partners are taking out money from uh, from the business right so dis to to discourage them from withdrawing money from the business we basically charge them interest on drawings and add it to the profit for the year so basically it is taken out from their capital and and added to the profit for the year uh, then uh, you need to less interest on capital so when you uh, when you subtract interest on capital in this case is uh, 3% of capital of tadeen and yadid so capital of one uh, the dean is 125,000 and 3% of 125, 125,000 will be for Yadid it will be 3% of 3% of 85,000. So for Yadid it is 3% of 85,000 
and for tadeen it is 3% of um, 125,000 which is okay 3750 for tadeen and 225550 for yadid and the salary that we need to give to yadid is 10,000 uh, which is also going to be subtracted from the uh, from this amount so I will subtract all these three items from uh, the amount above so this is going to be 16,300 so I subtract this from 107,820 so what I'll get here is 91,520 91,520 is my residual profit now residual profit is going to be shared in the profit sharing ratio of 60% and 40% so in this case 60% is given to given to Yitadeen and 40% to Yadid. so I will simply do here I'll simply calcul uh, calculate 91,520 multiplied by 60% for Tadeen and 91,520 multiplied by 40% for Yadid. For which I'll get 54,912 for Tadeen and for Yadid I will get 36,608 which is now going to total to 91,520. Now my appropriation account is done. The next part they are saying state one reason why part why the partners might consider reducing their drawings. Uh, they would consider reducing their drawings in order to improve the cash flow of the business. So what happens is that when you are withdrawing money, right? So the bank the bank account uh, reduces in value, which means the liquidity of the business is impacted. So the partners would want to uh, reduce their drawings so that uh, so that the cash flow of the business improves. So I'll write here. Uh, so that the cash flow of the business improves. Okay, the next part they are saying which accounting principle reflects the partner's intention to continue trading indefinitely. So there is this concept in accounting, it's called going concern concept. Going concern concept says that the business will continue to operate in the foreseeable future. That is what it says. So that is basically the same concept that they are saying here. Continue trading indefinitely means that they have no intention of closing down the business. So same as the going concern concept that the business will continue operating in the foreseeable future. So I'll write here going concern. In the next part, they are saying the partners employ one lawyer and one office staff. And uh, one the partners employ one lawyer and office staff. The lawyer, Lakia, is paid 25000 but has decided to leave. Uh, Tadeen and Yadid have found a replacement uh, lawyer, Ryan. He has worked as a lawyer for 15 years and is well known in the local area. However, Ryan wants to be a partner in the business rather than an employee and would expect 40% of the residual profit of the partnership each year. So if uh, basically in this question you need to tell them that whether they should uh, so they are expecting you to help them decide whether they should uh, admit Ryan as a partner or no. So advise Tadeen and Yadid whether or not they should offer Ryan a partnership Justify your answer by providing points for and against offering Ryan a partnership. Ryan has 15 years of experience. That's a very positive point because obviously when he brings in 15 years of experience, that is that means there are a lot of skills uh, that Ryan will bring into the partnership and also has a good reputation in the local area, which means he can bring valuable skills to the organization. Also having good reputation means there are lots of people who know them, who know him as a good lawyer. So that also helps increase the sales of uh, the partnership of Tadeen and Yadid. If Ryan becomes a partner, he will bring in more capital in the partnership business, which is also a very positive thing. Also, Ryan will share the work, which will also be good for the partnership because obviously he will share the work, he will bring in more skills. However, the profits will have to be shared with Ryan. This may reduce the share of profit for the existing partners. Ryan will also give, give his opinions before important decisions which may lead to disagreements which is which is possible. Also all the partners would be liable for the actions of Ryan if there is a decision that is taken because of Ryan uh, all of them will be liable for that particular decision. All of them will be uh, will will be responsible for that particular decision. Uh, but what I think is that they should admit Ryan as a partner because he has 15 years of experience, which is a very good thing. And he has more like if if he has been in this for 15 years, that means he has 
quite a few skills which can he which he can bring to the partnership uh, however you guys can have a different opinion uh, it's completely okay but uh, that's your own recommendation which you need to give for five marks you will get two marks for the positive points here advantages two marks for the disadvantages and one mark for your own recommendation uh, so that's it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching